Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at how to install TLRP and root your Galaxy S8 running Android 9 dot Pi update. So without wasting more time, let's start. Okay guys, so let's start installing uh, TLRP on your Galaxy S8. So yeah, you have to enable, uh, sorry, enable the OEM unlocking option. And if you don't have that option, like after installing Android Pi update, then you need to wait for seven days because it's like the RMM unlock by Samsung, that shit that will just block you from like using custom binaries and custom ROMs. So yeah, never mind if you get the OEM unlock, that's really get, great. And if not, just wait and then you will get it now without rebooting. So now let's start installing the TLBR recovery and you will of course need a PC and also Odin 3, which I used in the Android Pi update video. And if you haven't got the Android Pi update, so you have to check this video out. The installation is there through Odin. So yeah, that will be really easy for you. Uh, again, boot your Galaxy S8 into the Odin mode or the download mode or whatever it is called. Sorry for that. And connect it with the official cable. So I'm always using the official cable, which works really well. And just press continue. So you can see Odin has detected your Galaxy S8. Now into the AP option, you have to uh, choose that uh, your TLBR P image uh, and you have to download image.tar to make it Odin flashable and options you have to uncheck the auto reboot option this is important guys uh, uncheck the auto reboot option or else uh, your device will reboot and your TLBR P will be auto replaced by the stock recovery now that's it nothing else the start and guys, this will possibly pass because you don't have RMM unlock shit on your device. Now you can see your device has uh, got it. So now just follow these steps really carefully. Now it says volume down key plus power key for more than seven seconds. Cancel restart. So do it. And when you see the black screen, switch to the volume up button. As soon as you see the black screen. Now switch to volume up, big speed and power, ASAP. And voila, you are into TWRP recovery. And yes, I'm having the Android Pi update. I will also show you that. Now I have already installed the Android Pi. And you can see I have the TWRP now. Okay, let the brightness be at A19. Now go to wipe and go to install. And you can see the internal storage has been encrypted because I'm coming from stock firmware. So now you have to format your data. And yes, guys, you have to uh, back up your internal storage before doing the steps. Now go to reboot, recovery. Do not install. And now you can unplug it like before only. And as you can see, now let me disable the brightness of okay, this one also and brightness a bit. Getting back, you can see to install, you can see you can check the internal storage and also if your SD card, it's already mounted. So guys, this is the way to install TLRP recovery on your Galaxy Z. And now we are going to root it. So for rooting it, you will need to first boot into system and this is going to take long because your internal is formatted, your uh, internal storage and so your device will be factory resetted. So let it boot and I will show you after it boots. Okay guys, my mistake, the device does not boot uh, because it is maybe the DM variety, DM variety shit and all that which is uh, just making it to boot. So just press like when it will just like boot loop, press the volume up, power and the uh, Bixby button to boot again into TLRP recovery and flash magisk then reboot so you can see it's flashing magisk 18.1 which is the latest and this is only the recommended version for you guys also and then now this device will reboot and yes, it will have magisk also. If not, you can just install the magisk manager, but the magisk has been successfully patched. So now let's see if it boot loops or not. 
yeah it's starting so i will also tell you that it's rooted so just wait for it to start so yeah we skip this step and also guys before proceeding one more thing if you have a new galaxy set which has warranty and if you don't want to lose it then just don't follow this guys because if you install twrp the warranty will be lost and then you cannot blame me or anyone else because if i have like not told you but yeah now i'm telling and if you're watching this video and you're going to perform this on your new galaxy set because if you bought it now or if you are buying it like before and also guys that uh, some of the secure folder and that stuff will also be uh, like will also stop working because it depends on the nox meter now my meter has been already turned on one since then because yeah i've already installed since a lot of time so yeah that's just a friendly reminder and yes make sure you have backed up your internal because because uh, sorry before performing any of the steps so yeah let's proceed and my device is like about to boot so i will show you that it's rooted okay guys the device just booted up i skipped the setup okay let me turn this adaptive brightness off okay for the toggles oh, okay now as you can see uh, here i don't see magisk which is really weird so i'll just install the magisk apk okay guys so i have installed the magisk manager apk and it still says magisk not installed so we will install it again download zip only so i don't know why is this but it's okay uh, you had to flash magisk and then your like device boots so it's okay even if it's not if it says uh, magisk it's not so you can see it is again downloaded so we'll just power it off again i don't know what this is a weird thing but yeah we will just flash magisk again and i hope this will get the things working so again reboot into recovery Go to install, download Magisk, reboot. Okay, hope this will install root. And yes, yeah, sorry for that brightness. I forgot to. I'll just set it up now. The brightness. The TWRP here is really laggy. I don't know why, but it feels laggy. Okay, now reboot system and check if the Magisk is installed. Like, ah, <laughs> the routing is really. a uh, different way i don't know why but yeah now guys let's check if magisk is finally installed or not and yep so as you can see magisk is installed and your device has been rooted successfully and this is how to install twrp recovery and root your samsung galaxy s8 and s8 plus after android pie update and here i am on the uh, Uh, february update which i just installed and yes the installation video is here if you are not updated to pi yet and yep can see so guys that is for the video if you guys really like this video press the like button if not press the dislike button also press the subscribe button if you really like my videos and also if you are interested in more yes lineage os 16 pi on galaxy s it is coming soon and which is almost stable only fingerprint is not working other stuff working so Yeah bye bye it's coming soon guys subscribe and also the bell icon bye